basketball, you betcha I'm back. You know I can't leave you guys hanging. You're ready for more. You are ready for more of what we have in store here at Basketball You for you to increase your game. So let's do that. I know what you want. You don't want to do the simple stuff. Okay, then we're going to shoot today. We're just going to shoot all day long then. Let's see if you can shoot that arm all the way to where you can't even lift it up anymore. All right, Basketball You is the daily trainer, and we're about to get started. First things first, form shooting, of course. You got to form shoot, okay? We're going to warm those form shooting up real quick. And let's go ahead with the right hand and also your left-handers out there. We're holding it with one hand. We're getting under that basketball. And, of course, we're making five on each side. Once you make five on each side, we will then start with three-level shooting. We're going to lay the basketball up. We're going to shoot a mid-range shot. And we're going right to the three. Oh, yeah, we're going to do it three times. That'll get us loose when we're moving back and forth. And it would all also get us to really focus on the momentum of us jumping straight up and down instead of into our shot falling forward. Yeah, a little Jason Williams style. I don't know if you guys remember how he used to shoot, but there were games where he shot well, and then there was games where he shot bad because of the momentum of his shot going forward. But anyway, that's just me watching some old clips reminiscing basketball you you are now going to go into star shooting this is going to work your footwork a little bit differently than just footwork shooting okay so we're going to run around there remember if you're new here we're going to go baseline we're going to go opposite elbow and then we're going to go other elbow then we're going to go baseline and you're going to go middle free throw line so this will be the mid-range version of star shooting and then just to do some more mid-range shooting we're going to work our footwork shooting where we're working it on the baseline and then we're also working it on the elbow side of things okay so we're working that inside plant we're squaring up and we're making shots okay so don't forget that okay when we're doing our shots it's just making five in each spot so that's a quick 20 shots that you're going to make with form shooting okay and then our last mid-range drill that we're going to do is we're going to work on our dribble pull-ups with a three cone drill okay where we're working on our mid-range pull-ups you can throw a little crossover in there. You can throw some behind the back. You can bounce it through the legs, however you like to do it. But we want to make that first level twice, okay? And then the same thing with the top level at the three. We're going to make that twice as well, okay? So once you went to every cone and made it twice, then we're going to move into star shooting from the three, okay? And that's going to be the corner three, the wing three, the other wing three, the baseline, left side and then up at the top for three okay so we're going to do that start shooting and we're going to do that three times and we're just working on making those free throws at the end as well because we'll be just a little tired and then after you make those free throws i want you to shoot 10 more take a break drink some water and then come on back come on back okay now we're going to get some threes up oh yeah we're going to go baseline to baseline on our three-point shooting then we're going to go wing to wing Okay, this is going to get pretty tiring, but it's okay because we're built like that basketball you. That's what we came to do. Okay, so I want you to make four on each level. So on the baseline level, you're going to make four total. So whether you make four on the left side and zero on the right side, that's four. If you make two and two, that's four. Okay, one and three, that's four. I think you get the point now. Same thing with the wing. You want to make sure we're making four, okay? It gets a little tiring, but again, you got this. You're focused, you're balanced, and you have that skill. And because you're tired, now I'm going to take you back over to the three, and we're just going to work our sidestep three, not the move where people dribble and pick it up and sidestep. It's just where you shoot the three, you get your rebound, and you take one sidestep to shoot another one. And this is when you're going all the way around the perimeter, getting an idea of where the three-point shot looks from almost every single spot on the perimeter okay so the goal here is to make at least because you're a little tired i'd say just make 15 so you can make 15 before you get to the other end you've done a very good job and then it used your choice if you want to go all the way back around but if you don't you can you've completed the drill 
Okay, then I want you to go to the free throw line, make 10 real quick. Arm is probably burning by now, but you know what? It's okay. It's okay. We're working those muscles out, we're working that muscle memory, and we're becoming some pretty consistent shooters. Okay, and then our next drill is going to be dribbling up and shooting from the three. So we're right hand dribbling up, shooting from the three, uh, left hand dribble up shooting from the right wing three and then the same thing in the middle where we're switching hands same thing on the left side you're making three each of these as well okay so three with the right hand three with the left move to the next spot same thing and then again okay you don't have to go back but if you choose to that is something i would recommend is going back through and getting those extra shots up okay as we complete this drill I want you to know that it becomes frustrating when one of your hands isn't as equal as the other because the pickup of the dribble is harder to get under that basketball get that consistent flow under your shot so be sure not to get frustrated in this drill and just keep working hard basketball you then when you finish this drill because you ran and got so many rebounds and you just been working your tail off get to the free throw line make five and then get yourself some water and then we're going to end with that fun game of around the world gotta love it everybody loves around the world Okay, you're going to do that two times, and then this one, we're going to do it with three swishes, okay? So you want to make at least three swishes, and then you're going to move around the key, okay? So that is the goal for that, and then conditioning basketball you. We're going to end with a little defensive conditioning today. Oh, I know you thought it was all shots, but we've got to be in shape, especially if you're a shooter. You're going to be running around all willy-nilly on the court and you gotta make sure that you're ready for that because if you run you're tired your shot's not gonna make it to the rim i can guarantee you that basketball you so we're gonna get in that key we're going to go key to key slides you got 30 seconds on the clock and that is how we're gonna do that and we're gonna go three sets try to count it out 18 will be the goal but if you get more than 18 then you are pushing yourself basketball you and that is the goal always okay then our last conditioning drill will be our zigzag drill with the sprint down to the baseline okay so you're zigzagging four times one two three four okay then once you get to around that half court area or just that area where you feel like you need to stop you're going to sprint back to the court in a full sprint and then do it again so we got this four times basketball you then after we're done legs are going to be just a little tired so we want to get to that free throw line one more time and you want to make 10 8 out of 10 preferably let's go ahead and go for 80 percent basketball you i appreciate you and once again i want to remind you we got episodes coming and we also got new basketball footage coming for you very soon because i know you're tired of seeing the same drills even though you're not good at them yet <laughs> no i'm just messing with you basketball you i know you've been working hard every day that you come to play it is the daily trainer and i told you i'm here every day but remember someone's always working are you